Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today we are taking a step back to an old school time of PS2 gaming. Now, God, it feels weird to say PS2 is old school, but we're about to have PS5. And one of my favorite games on PS2 was Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. I witnessed a video on YouTube of somebody uh, emulating the game on a PS4. And they had unlimited NOS. They had unlimited uh, of the superpower. So, like, for example, uh, Roar, which gets cars out of your way. And um, the AI cars were insanely slow. And that got me thinking. Can we modify Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix for PS2 the same way we mod Need for Speed on PC and give it custom cars, custom... Uh, info for the cars, uh, that whole nine yards. Well, you see a file here, and you see a file here. This was created today. This was created in 2005. <laughs> We're going to go through these files, and I'm going to explain why I believe Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix with the right set of tools and the right set of knowledge of 3D modeling is entirely moddable from the ground up. I will say this with a disclaimer. I am, I have not yet modified the ISO and put the file, put the new file in the ISO and transferred it to my PS3 to try to play. I have not done that yet. So I do not know yet if there's anything that's going to stop me from loading a modified file. Why do I keep getting these popping noises from my headset? So. We are going to do that real quick. I already have the ISO on my PS3 and I have it saved in another location. So we're going to rename this to MC3 Modded. And I'm going to reopen it up. You can just open it with WinRAR. And what I'm going to do is this assets. This is the new one. I'll explain what's modded about it in a second. I'm just going to simply drag and drop it. Oh, I can't do that on ISO. That's right. Um... Do I have any way I can... Do I have any ISO tools on my computer? Give me a second. Alright, so I totally forgot I had Ultra ISO, so we're good. Thought CD Mage would be able to do it. It was not able to do it. Um, so we're, we're going to try to do it with Ultra ISO. So, I know normally this would be like at the end of the video, after you mods, mod something, but... Eh. I'm going to attempt to replace that file. Will it just let me drag and drop it? Yes, I do want to... So I remember 366, yes. 492, wow, that was simple. Can I just go like, save? Yeah, it's gonna make a new ISO, there we go. All right, cool. So we're gonna go through the game files. And first of all, let me explain that I'm doing this all out of order because my ADHD, how to extract these files. So I got really lucky. Um, and you're wondering why there's a Dave.bms when my first name is Dave. There's a little bit, little bit of a weirdness in these files, let's just say. Um, so you can see in the ISO, there's these main DAT files. There's texture.dat, banks, and assets. The, <laughs> these files are interesting. Um, I'll open one of them up in a hex editor, and you're going to see why it's called Dave.bms. Oh, you bitch. Dave. Apparently my name is special when it comes to Rockstar, and I would love to know why the first four bytes of these files is Dave. And if you look at any car file, which we'll get into later, Dave M is the first five bytes. And anybody that knows me personally knows my last name starts with the letter M. So it's a really weird thing. But uh, basically what you do is you use QuickBMS, you simply double click it, and you do need to use the four gig file because these are terabyte, or these are one gig files, and I just recommend doing it this way. It's a little easier. Click your um, dave.bms, which you can get from the BMS website. Um, QuickBMS. Oh, I still have it open. So what you have to do is on the BMS website, you can just do 
Dave. Or Dave. And you'll see it comes up, dave.bms, angel studio, slash rockstar San Diego. This extracts the files. That's all you need, is that file. Um, I'm not going to actually re-extract these files because it takes forever. But as you can see, the ISO is done. And what I'm going to do is start transferring this ISO to my PS3 real quick. So I will be right back with you guys in a moment. Actually, it even made it a lot smaller. That's a really good thing, because look at the size of this ISO. It's 8 freaking gigs. I don't understand why. But I will be right back with you guys once I start transferring the uh, file with FileZilla and the FTP program on my PS3. So transferring games to PS3 is very easy when you're jailbroken. You just get FileZilla and something like Dragon FTP. Uh, put the PS3 on your Wi-Fi and simply connect to it. And then just drag and drop the games over onto the PS3's hard drive. So you want to do Dev HDD, PS2 ISO, and we're going to make a new folder for this version of Midnight Club. So MC3 modded. And we're going to just drag and drop this ISO and let it transfer. And as you can see, it's very slow. It, uh, megabytes per second is only like two for some reason. So it's going to take about half an hour. So by the time I'm done recording this video, basically. So I'm going to move that off screen. We're going to go through the game files. So I'm going to start easy and move, work my way up with these. Uh, textures are exactly that. They're these IAN files that... Don't look like I can do much with them. They're Ian files. So it looks like... It looks like these files, honestly, are just... Uh, the developers who created these files, it's probably just their names. Like, that's how they differentiated the files. So, like, somebody with the name Ian worked on these Ian files. Uh, PPF files, these are... If you ever did um, Halo Custom Edition modding or Halo Combat Evolved Trial Multiplayer modding back in the day, you know what PPF files are. Um, but again, I haven't found anything that'll extract this file either, so texture's pretty much out of it. Streams I couldn't get to uh, extract, but I'll try again later with some other methods. Um, BNK, I don't think these are Bink videos. But I haven't tried yet. They might be. I th think you can do BNK videos with a VLC. Not 100% on that, though. Let's find out. Might need BNK player. Or Bink video player or something. No. So yeah, it doesn't look like it can do it. Why is this so big? It realizes it, it's an audio file, or a video file, but it doesn't do anything. Huh, interesting. So that's literally all that's in Banks. I don't know what these files do yet. I think they're audio, judging by like, this is the sound of a gear shift for a Jetta specifically. Kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Opening it in Notepad++ just brings up gibberish. Um, don't worry about it. And we'll get into this in a minute. This is a fun file. Um, so we're done with banks, and we're going to go into assets. Now, assets is where the bulk of the game is. So assets has all these files. Here's There's, for some odd reason, just all this information left behind by the developers. And it's like the uh, it's the way the directories work for certain files, and you can actually see the file names, the sizes of the files, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so, like, there's these DAT files, which I'll open up with HXD. Hey, look, more Dave files. <laughs> but uh, so these are the models and stuff like that for a Z28, a 1981 Z28 Camaro. Um, something I'll show you is I actually already extracted one of these. So I'll show you that real quick, the 350Z. This is why I believe this game is so easily moddable. 
is these files, you can just extract them, modify them, and put them back. It is that easy. It's so like mesh.pack. You basically just have to undo these P, uh, PCK files, which again, um, I'm not 100% sure on these files specifically, but I have seen um, other 3D model files in here that are very much modifiable. So what the difference between these files are and those, I'm not sure yet until we really get into stuff. But as you can see, there's even an EXE in here. I don't know what this EXE does. Um, and it's I can't like rip the source code or anything. I haven't opened it in IDA yet. Uh, but if I go in command prompt, and I just do pre prep loader, prep load order dot exe it gives me an error on load dump sorted file exclude list and it doesn't tell me how to use the file so if i go question mark it just gives me argc2 if i do help argc2 if i do slash question mark which sometimes does stuff in dos it does that I have yet to figure out what this file is supposed to do. And there's like the vehicle exported list right here. And there's so many different files that I'm wondering what these were. Vehicles, obviously we can guess what vehicles were. It was this. But I'm wondering if there's any cars in this list that we never got in the game. Um, there's the post race information, you know, this is physical code that you can modify and like move the position and orientation of stuff. Final cut scene list of different things that need to show up. Camera angles and stuff like that. There is actually a test race and a test city in, um, in these files. There's a full test area that I want to figure out how to eventually load and I think I have an idea but I'm not quite there yet so you know we'll figure it out later let's see what this is absolute nothing <laughs> but there is you know blank is blank how nice of them camera scene checklist you know how I you know I don't know but you know then there's your vehicle folder which has for some odd reason, an error log in it that you can try to read through and it'll tell you a whole bunch of information about like errors and, you know, this is, there's so much info in here about like stuff like this, you know, it's, there's so much info in here. It would be so much fun to dig through and figure out what's what, what are we missing from the game? What did we not get? What is something new that we should have had that didn't make the cut? So like, here we go. Perfect example of 3D models in this game. So as you can see, this is a skell. So this is the skeleton or the bones of the 3D model. And they're plain text. So we could just, somebody that knows 3D modeling better than I do, could take this and figure out a way to import it into Blender or something like that. This is the types this is like the names of the different shader groups and stuff like that and then the meshes of what should load due to the wheels and all the other information for the car and then here's the mesh for the shadow so it knows how to make the shadow on the ground and finally the entire 3d model of the utility van which i definitely wonder can I just rename this to like 350Z and replace the 350Z and add in this car to the game to be a purchasable car with the sp stats of a 350Z? It would be hilarious, which will be something we do in the future, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, you know, there's so much stuff you can do in here. And then here's the textures. Uh, I haven't found a way to open up the textures yet. But again, this is where people with more knowledge than me come in and take what I've discovered and blow it out of proportion to make it modable. Uh, the tuning folder is exactly like it sounds. It's, as you can see here, there's the test area, midnight clear, midnight cloudy, midnight rainy, dusk. 
There's an entire test city in here. These are like video files or something like that. Um, I don't know what these files are yet. I haven't opened one yet. Oh, they're text files. I should have figured by their file size. Generally, if the file size is only this big, you can guess that it's either A, an encrypted file, or B, a text file anyway. So here's like uh, cursor stuff, weather, vehicle, UE, traffic. You know, there's so much stuff in here that we can mess with. Apparently there was supposed to be snow in the game. I don't know if it stays on the ground. I don't remember because I'm not that far into the game yet. I don't remember if there's snow. Um, but there's, you know, testing stuff in here. There's so much stuff in here. And vehicle list. This is the one, as you can tell, it was modified already. If we take this file and we open it in Notepad++, you're going to notice something. So, hold on. Let me control Z some shit. Ah, oh, it's not going to let me. It's okay. I remember. I did plus point two. So, in here, as you can see, this is for the 2003 Jetta. This uh, manufacturer, VW, um, I kind of want to try adding a custom car to the game by simply going to the very bottom of this list and just adding another vehicle. Just see what happens. Just see if it adds it to the list in the game. Because I feel like that's how this list works. But this is the basic specs as far as like once you max upgrade the car and when you buy it first to stock. There's so much, there's so much potential in this. I'm sure there is. Oh, cop car. So this is like, I really wonder, can I add, like, a civilian vehicle to the bottom here and see what happens, you know? There's so many... Special Edition probably means... Yeah, so these are Remix cars. And that's just a comment. So if I go down and I do... Custom cars. And I do... Um, let's find a basic car up here. We'll do this cop car. Just hit enter, paste this here. We'll make it group A. Um, VW, because why not? And we'll change the specs of it to... Make it a little faster if you max it out. There we go. That's all you need. And we're going to save it and we're going to try to... I'm going to eventually try to add that car into the game and see what happens. It's a modified cop car. You know, whatever. Um, Actually, here. Let's make it the Tokyo cop car. There we go. So eventually that'll add into the game because I just added it to this list if I just make a new asset file, which I'll go over in a few minutes how to make that. It's very simple. Um, but there's... I, I, I don't even know how I can go over everything that I'm going to find in here because then everything is just basic text files. Like here's all the information for brake rotor locations and stuff like that on like an XY axis. Um... How damage would work on a car, what parts of the car are damaged, and how much How much does it allow it to crumple up. There's so much in here, it's absolutely insane. So, realistically, I'd like to know how much of this game we can actually get away with modding. Um, V-dub mod, and... I can get the original from this original ISO if I need it. So this is an unmodded ISO. Or that's an unmodified file. Um, let me reopen Notepad++. 
because if I go into here, I'm going to remodify the Jetta as well because that's my current selected car. So I want to know that it's modded, basically. So we're going to do three, six, three. This is going to be basically how I know. Four, eight, five. Slick. We're going to close that because you don't need to know I'm at my quota. <laughs> anyway, now I'll show you guys how to actually add files back into uh, a BMS file or a DAT file with quick BMS. I only just learned this. So bear with me for just a second, but I believe, and I should have made a batch file for this, but I believe it is quick BMS. Oh, I'm running it in the wrong location. First of all, and actually I can make this a lot easier on myself. I totally forgot. This exists. So I do this, select the BMS file. I select the file and then I go and I select the actual asset file. And as you can see, it is now creating a new assets.dat file. This is going to take a long time. Um, and I'm only at 60% transferred to my PS3. This takes a long time because of how big of a file it is. But that's expected. And I don't see a way at the moment to do only a single file and have it detect it. It has to recreate the entire file every time. Again, we have the BMS script. Somebody can take this script and make a custom program out of it very easily. Um, and, you know, maybe make a specific file editor or something like that. It would be very simple to do because we have this right here and we know how quick BMS works. So, you know, maybe in the future we'll have some pretty crazy mods for Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. If I can get a way to record audio and or video, well, video and or audio off my PS3, I will definitely try to get videos up on the channel of modding a PS2 game because I haven't seen anybody do this. So let's have some fun. Let's hope we can get this working and go from there because it's a ton of fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try to let you know in like a pinned comment down below if the modified ISO actually works on my PS3. And I'll talk to you guys later. If you made it this far into the video, uh, let's see. What kind of little common question of the day can I give you guys? Because I love doing that shit to see who actually watches to the end. <laughs> um, if you're a Pokemon fan... Pokemon, Pokemon, whatever. It's got the little ch over the E, so. What's your favorite Pokemon? And we'll discuss it down in the comments down below why you are wrong that it's not Pineco or Dragonite, or why you're right because it's Pineco or Dragonite. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.